Oh man, I haven't done this in a while, but uh, hey guys, I just got back from Mexico last night. I did post my vlog and uh, there are some of the hats I bought over there that Mario had in the Jalisco hat. As you can see, I'm back at home, kind of all packed and today is the day after I landed. It was a pretty crazy vacation um, and uh, we brought some stuff back from over there, even some that was uh, still in our old house. Uh, you know, we had that, uh, Windows Vista laptop that I showed you guys on my day two vlog. If you guys, if you guys haven't seen my, all the vlogs, well, I posted day one and two separately, and then day three to yesterday were all until one. Man, I haven't recorded in this camera in so long, the screen feels big. Um, but one thing I brought from there that was in our old house was this. This is a Blackberry, and this is the OG type of Blackberries. This is the BlackBerry 8830 World Edition. This was not the ex this uh, I don't even know. This was not the exact type of BlackBerry that my parents used to own back in the day. They used to own the Curves and the Tours. I'm still gonna buy those. This is not gonna automatically say, oh no, don't buy the Curves. I'm still gonna buy those because those are the exact ones that my parents used. But this kind of looks like it, except this one does not have a camera and the battery cover is way different. So. This is a BlackBerry 8830 World Edition. My dad found it on the first day we were over there. He gave it to me. I'm like, oh, cool. And there was a battery in here, but it was expanded. So I ordered a new one on eBay on that day I landed in Mexico. And it arrived uh, two days ago. So, or not two days ago, three days ago. So it arrived on Saturday, uh, two days before I got back. Um, and this thing works now. But before, actually, when I plugged it in last night, it came up with the... Error. It's a JUV error 102, meaning the file was corrupted. So what I did is I went on my old white MacBook over there, and what I did was I installed the BlackBerry desk desktop file. However, I couldn't load the actual web page on that MacBook to download it. So what I did is that I used my current MacBook and put the the desktop uh, the BlackBerry desktop file in a flash drive and put that flash drive in the old MacBook and it actually worked. So let's turn this on as you can see this is what it looks like. Some of you might be familiar with this type of interface. I am definitely so familiar with this. This was on the Blackberry Curve 8330 that my parents used to own and uh, man do you guys remember the trackball and everything like kind of listen. Do you guys remember that? Oops I just did that. Yeah. So you can you can actually do that. I don't, I don't even know how I just did that, but how do I press star? Oh, right here, like that. Huh? I have no idea. What did I just do? I locked the keyboard. Oh, like that. Unlock. Hmm. I'm not sure what I just did there. Hold on. There we go. I got it. I was pushing the wrong button. But do you guys remember this old trackpad and the old interface? Man, this is when phones used to be like this with the QWERTY keyboard and everything. Oops, uh, I'm gonna censor that. Uh, so, um, yeah. Do you guys remember when phones used to be like that? That was pretty dope. Um, you know, the trackpad and everything, the keyboard. Man, so familiar and uh, yet it wasn't that long ago like these things were the most popular phones like we're around the time of the first ever iphone came out the iphone didn't start taking you know started to take over till probably before but uh, around this time this phone i believe was released in 2007 that's what i saw and uh, let's check up the specifications if we go to options you can go to about um, to go all the way up. Man, I like that noise. You just kind of listen to that. So, BlackBerry 8830 CDMA because it's Sprint and that's a CDMA network. So, you just kind of. There was a lot of Java files with this, and um, so 2008. What operating system? I think this one is running BlackBerry OS 4 because when I uh, went ahead and restored it on the MacBook, it asked me what OS to restore to, and the only one it went up to was BlackBerry OS 4. Uh, what would it say if it say here? Uh, if I scroll up, uh, no, it won't say. But, um, oh yeah, so see, Java, Java powered, so 
Okay, voice signal. I don't know what that is. Advanced options would say here. No. But, yeah, this Blackberry is so cool. It'd be nice if this had a camera. I'm still going to get the other ones. I'll show you guys in a minute. But, um, man. this is I never used this exact model, the Blackberry. But it is familiar. Because, again, the layout and everything. This operating system. Something I don't like about Blackberries is you have to have service on the phone in order to um, use the internet browser so there is an internet browser but you must have service on it i remember back then i would always like go on youtube that's mainly the only man if, if blackberry had their own built-in youtube app but this was 2007 so things of course are way different let's take a look at the design elements so everyone knows by the front you could probably tell this is a blackberry uh here you have the headphone jack you have this you have this and then you also have so this one, you can do many things for this one. You can have it to be voice command. Oh, but I don't know exactly how to change it. I think it's somewhere in options. Let me see. I'm not entirely sure. Volume button's up here. I don't know how you, it's not showing that it's turning on anything. Oh, and here you can kind of, um, here you can adjust the, oh, here you go in advanced. So. Here you can adjust like the noise of the ringer, for example, you can have it off completely, only if it rings, normal, you can have it quiet, only vibrate, and have it so loud. Man, I remember back then as a kid, my mom would always have it sometimes on just vibrate, and that would freak me out when I was using it, because next thing you see, you see the whole call screen. If I remember, it was a gray telephone, I'll put a picture of it if I can find one. Every time that would pop up and the phone would vibrate, nearly scared me to death because it just it vibrated and that was all you see i'm like oh damn but uh yeah so the back i don't like this in the back uh this kind of looks like one of the old some of the blackberry tours and that one weren't, wasn't really my favorite design you can put a micro sd card in here um i would put the one from that flip phone the blackberry flip phone i destroyed but it's still on the roof after two months but I think this is how you push it and you can take the battery cover off. How do you, damn it, yeah. So this battery was the one I ordered before it was a punctured one. Now that micro SD card, SD card slot goes somewhere and then the SIM card slot goes somewhere. And the back of the battery, did that power the phone off? No. This little red light, this, this light would turn on red every time the phone turns on or if you have a missed notification. These, uh, this is the power button, so is that, oh yeah also it turns the brightness up also when you power it off and then how do you turn this on this is what does the volume do no it doesn't say but i know there was a way you can change one of the buttons like this one like i can I, maybe if i hold it no so you can do voice commands in here too so if you like because this was kind of like you could say it's like siri um but you know siri is definitely much better than this because you could do you can say you can do more things with Siri, but that's just like a voice command in the case that you needed to call somebody and you didn't want to type, so you just do a voice command. But of course, with Siri in 2011, and now Siri and Google Assistant and everyone being a normal thing. Oh yeah, this used to have games like Break Breaker. I remember this game specifically a lot. Played it as a child so many times. So if we go to new game, and uh, yeah, Break Breaker, you just kind of do like that. Oh, we get a laser. So, let's see. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Come on, get the ball because I want the laser. Boom. Oh, did it just annihilate all of these? You just kind of be really slick with these. But, yeah, this game I played a lot. Then there was another one called Ward Mole. Oh, pfft, whatever. There was another game that was called Ward Mole, but that was in a newer, in the BlackBerry OS 7, I think, which is on one of the newer BlackBerry curves I want to get. Um... And there's other things too. This thing is so limited, but you know, I remember I just played a lot with this as a kid. One thing I always did that I definitely will never ever forget was I would always want to hear the sprint. Cause okay, back in the day, Sprint had this like if you called someone with no service, they'd give you some sort of message. I'll play it right now. Your account could not be validated. Please contact customer services. Su cuenta no pudo ser validada. Por favor, contáctese con servicios de atención al cliente. Message 5. Switch 390. 
And I would always want to listen to that. And, uh, you know, I tried to do that here. I typed my number and something, but it didn't work. So I, I, would try to, I would try to call the number right now. But you know what? Let's dial my number, but I'm going to go ahead and block it just so I don't end up leaking it. So, yeah, that's what it'll say. Emergency calls only. And it just makes the noise. So you can't really be able to hear it. So you can't hear it that well, but all it just does is the beep that you can only make emergency calls. And it's probably because there's no SIM card. I'll try the other Blackberries I end up collecting. Um, so as far as the Blackberries, what I did with them, again, I, when my mom used to have them, uh, she had a Curve 8330 and then she had a Blackberry Tour. I would always go on YouTube, kind of, well, with the phones that had no service, I would always just, uh, you know, down random numbers to hear that one thing. One thing I also liked was the ringtones. Let's let's listen to those. So, let me go to uh, preloaded ringtones. So, there was a lot of these, man. There's a, these are so familiar. Let's play on right now, like this one. That's one that we had as an alarm all the time. There was a bunch more. Uh, how do you go back? Um, it's this one. Oh, 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 that's how you do it. It was that one in the last three. We, my mom would always use those as alarms, and it was, man, I was listening to them today, and I'm like, wow, nostalgia hit really hard. Like, listen to these. If you used to, if your parents used to own one of these, just listen to this. But yeah, the you, oh my god. And then this one too. This, back in the day, every time I'd hear it as my mom's alarm, I would always picture this as a Spanish Kroger commercial. I don't know why, it's so funny. And then this, this one too. This one had to be my favorite by far. All the, the last three were my favorites. This one definitely takes the cake, but yeah, the ringtone. There's a lot more, but uh, those are the ones I'm extremely familiar with. There's other random ones like this one. Hold on. That's a text tone. And back in the day when I, when I was just so innocent, so I was like, okay, what phone do I want? I want a Blackberry. I would always choose between, you know, the Curve 8330 either from Sprint or Boost Mobile, but they were the same network back then and now Sprint's with T-Mobile. Or, you know, a Blackberry 8530, that one, other from Spinner Fryzen. I don't know. Things were so comp like, even like that back in the day when I would always choose what, what is exact, what exactly do I want between this or this? That hasn't really changed, you know, because I've always made up my mind in so many things I'm always mixed up in. For example, like with my blogging camera, I'm like, do I want a Canon SX730 or a Sony HX80? And I got a Sony HX80. So, you know, that's still in me. Every time I want something new, like a new piece of technology, like a phone, camera, I'm always stuck between so many things. And that's been in me since 2010, I guess you could say. Um, but... I guess that's it for this video. There's not a whole lot to show. All it really is is just a Blackberry. When I actually get the ones I used to own, then that one I'll probably show you guys. What I want to look at the camera on this, but I mean, this has no camera, Wi-Fi certified. So this is pretty cool. I kind of just, but it's when I get the other ones, the Curve 8330 and the Curve 8530, then those are gonna be even better. I'll show you guys right now how they look like. This is the Curve 8530, so a much sleeker design. That's the newer BlackBerry OS 7, and like that. That one has a camera, and it comes in the original box. I like the box of that one. So cool, the yellow and the Sprint dinghy back in that day. And then this is the Curve 8330. So it does kind of look similar to this one, but I personally prefer this one for sure. The color's much better. And here, let me let me look at a, a photo from the very back because uh, that one is much like I, I like the back of the Curve 8330. Let's go. Um, where is it? Kind of have to scroll or do some scrolling to actually find it. No, this is what the back looks like. Such a clean design, man. I love it. So that's the one that uh, I'm gonna collect. That one in the 8530. But that's pretty much it for this video just kind of to take a trip down memory lane 
and uh, kind of look at a Blackberry. I'm still going to collect the Curve 8330 because I think mainly for the design and also because of the camera. And also because the 80, 8530, that one, because of the better, way, way better design and that one has a newer operating system to show you guys. But yeah, this thing is so cool. I thought they'd be running a very older version because it was like one that was like way different, a very older OS, but no, it's actually running the same one as the Curve 8330, so that's pretty cool. Man, I like that the trackball lights up. The Curve 8530 has a trackpad. That one I never got to use, but I've always wanted to take a look at that one. The trackball was cool. On the Curve 8330, it was pretty neat. Like, you kind of listen to that. But on the Tour, it would always get stuck. I have no idea why. But overall, pretty cool to take a look back at this. And uh, yeah, that's going to be it for this video. So again, I just came back from Mexico last night. And uh, expect videos after this while I'm, I'm returning to work tomorrow. After this video, I don't know what I'll post. I don't have a whole lot on my mind right now. This was the only one I had. Um, but I start school in about three weeks. And what I want to do is save up money to collect tech at least by the end of the summer. And I have a good amount. So maybe, I don't know. We'll see what happens, but that's going to be it for this video, guys. So thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.